Generally speaking, there are two types of quantities. One which changes independently is called input variable or cause variable or independent variable or domain variable. In algebra, this is generally represented by x and is always first element of the pair in any relation or any given function. For example, time is always an independent variable. Second, are those type of quantities whose value depends on the value of independent variable. And this type of quantities are called dependent variable or response variable or output variable or range variable and are generally represented by y and is second element of the pair in any relation or any given function. Let's take a look on this example here. In this example, we have a cylinder for which we have a given storage capacity. If we increase the radius of the cylinder, obviously the cylinder will be capable of holding more water. So the value of V or the quantity or the variable V depends upon the values of R. R is radius of the cylinder. So bigger the radius, more is the volume this tank can hold. So here V is dependent on R. So V is called the dependent variable and R is called the independent variable. Therefore, Let's write it down here in this example. In this example, example, independent variable is independent variable is R and dependent variable dependent variable is equal to v because r will determine what would be the values of v but r is controlled by an independent out of the question that is that doesn't depend on v v depends on r they are usually related by a formula so that is the concept of independent variable and dependent variable. Let's take another example. In another example, the temperature in Celsius scale is dependent upon the temperature in Fahrenheit scale and both are connected through equation. If Celsius, Celsius temperature, temperature is connected connected with temperature in temperature in Fahrenheit scale Fahrenheit scale through equation through C equal to and if this is like this C in F five over nine into F minus thirty two then C is being expressed as function of F here, in this case, if C is isolated, if C is isolated, then dependent variable will be C. Dependent variable is equal to C. And 
because C is expressed in terms of F, so the F would be independent variable. Independent, independent variable will be F. But remember that this dependency can be changed in many of the linear relationships. So that is the, the thing. In linear relationships, in linear relationships, relationships, ships, dependency can be changed. Dependency, dependency can be changed, can be changed. And let's take a look how we can change the dependency. And if C was equal to, if C was equal to 5 over 9 into F minus 32, let's isolate F instead of C. So this way, what we will do, we will multiply 9 on both sides. So this would be 9 C over 5 equal to F minus 32. So this will give us F equal to 32 plus 9 over 5 C. Now here, because F is isolated, therefore F is the dependent variable. As F is isolated, is isolated and is expressed in terms of in terms of C. So dependent variable will be F now. So dependent variable is equal to F and independent is equal to independent is equal to C. So if F is expressed in terms of C, then C is independent and F is dependent. But in previous example one here, in this equation one, C was expressed in terms of F. So that's why there in equation one, F was independent and C was dependent. So it really depends in linear relationships or in linear functions, it, the dependency can be changed. It's whichever variable is expressed in terms of the other variable that is called dependent variable and the one on the right side that appears inside the equation or inside that function is called the independent variable. And if the data was expressed in tabular form, first element or the variable which appears or the variable whose values appear in the first position of the pair is called independent variable. And the variable whose values appear in the second position of the pair is called dependent variable. So this is the concept and it is very important that we know which one is independent variable and which one is dependent variable. The reason is while describing graphs, the independent variable will always, the independent variable will always be plotted on the horizontal axis and the dependent variable will always be plotted on the vertical axis. So just let us note this noun. So note, independent variable is independent variable is plotted, is plotted on horizontal axis, on horizontal axis horizontal axis while dependent variable dependent variable 
is plotted is plotted on vertical axis vertical axis so 